Hey everyone, it's Corey McCarthy and thank you for tuning in. I came across a paper the other day that I found interesting. Uh, I feel it answers some questions that people have, as well as putting some harmful myths to bed. I want to preface by pointing out that the ongoing Framingham Offspring study found that 39% of the U.S. population has B12 levels in the low normal range, whereas 16% are deficient and 9% fall below current deficiency levels. And that's only looking at the Framingham Offspring study sample size of 6,507 Americans uh, within the New England area as of 2015. So those figures could be inevitably larger um, across the wider U.S. population. However, let's just assume for a moment that the Framingham offspring data is relatively accurate uh, representation of the entire U.S. population. If we take into account that only 0.5% of the U.S. population are vegan, and if we were to assume incorrectly, I might add, that all vegans are B12 deficient, that would still leave 38.5% of U.S. omnivores with low normal B12 status and 15.5% and 8.5% that are B12 deficient or below deficient, respectively. Ergo, B12 deficiency is clearly not a vegan phenomenon. Now, with that preface out of the way, I will move on to the paper that I wanted to share. And I've linked to the full paper uh, over at my blog for you to download and to read at your convenience. Uh, the blog, as always, is linked down in the description of this video, uh, as well as in my pinned comment. Over the course of eight months, researchers examined four groups of people. A group of vegans who did not supplement B12, but instead consumed 12 grams of nori algae and 15 grams of sun-dried wild mushrooms per week. A second group of vegans who did supplement with a synthetic B12 daily, but did not consume any nori or mushrooms. A group of lacto-ovo vegetarians and a group of meat eaters. Each participant's blood levels were analyzed at six different times over the course of the eight months, including baseline measurements. Now, before I move to the results, keep in mind that the amount of nori the participants consumed would provide them with 2.4 micrograms of B12 per day, and the amount of mushrooms the participants consumed would provide them with 0.7 micrograms of B12 per day. Based on the U.S. RDA for vitamin B12, the vegans consuming the nori and the mushrooms should have been receiving ample quantities. In fact, just the amount of nori alone should have satisfied their daily requirements for the vitamin. What the researchers found was enlightening. First of all, it is clear that vegans who do not supplement B12 and consume only nori and mushrooms are in the fast lane to deficiency. Now, a word to those vegans out there who don't believe in supplements of any kind, stop it, just stop it, seriously, or suffer the nasty consequences. And possibly earn yourself a Darwin Award as a result. And if you do fuck yourselves up, it isn't fair to blame veganism. Instead, you can blame your hippie stupidity. Really, I am just sick of the vegans who fuck up on their diets, and instead of taking responsibility for their poor or misinformed choices, they blanketly blame veganism. A diet which has undergone multiple peer reviews over the years by experts and has been found to be acceptable for all stages of life, so long as it is properly planned. Key words there, properly planned. And these morons in turn provide anti-science nutters like Sveria constant motivation for their anti-vegan crusade. On that note, if you watch a guy like Sveria for anything more than pure entertainment, you are also very likely a candidate for the Darwin Award. Just saying. Now, back to the study. As you can plainly see, vegans who supplement with synthetic B12 actually have total B12 levels relatively equal to the lacto-ovo vegetarian group and significantly better than the meat-eater group, though none of those three groups were deficient. It is worth noting that the meat-eaters did not appear to supplement with B12 at all, and the vegetarian group 
uh, 13% of the individuals had received B12 injections at least once, but the rest did not supplement uh, in any capacity. Ergo, it appears that supplementing with a synthetic B12 can lead to better B12 levels in the blood uh, than from consuming meat, but vegans do need to supplement. They should not rely on whole foods alone, no matter what nutritional claims come attached to particular foods. And I could give a rat's ass about awesome personal anecdotes from some hippy-dippy whole foods anti-supplement fruitarian. The reason being is that foods like nori and sun-dried wild mushrooms contain pseudo-vitamin B12, which resembles the actual vitamin B12, but does not function in the same way. As the blood results from that paper so clearly demonstrate. Anyway, do leave your thoughts and comments below and give this video a like and a share to ensure that others can find it easier. I think this is a very important topic, especially with the profound level of woo and stupidity you will find within the vegan community. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel and press the bell button for notifications and to check back here weekly. All three avenues will help ensure that you don't miss any new content from me. Also, check out the video's description for links to my products and services, as well as uh, affiliate links and other ways that you can show your support to me and my channel if you genuinely enjoy and get use from uh, what I provide here. With that, I want to thank you all for your continued support. I want to thank you for watching, and I will see you all in the next video.